Hi folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen. Yesterday I made some peach Melbourne cheesecakes and they like blew my mind. They were so, so good. So I wanna show you how to do them. Here's a little cheesy intro. Let's get on with it. Wow. They look amazing, right? And they're really easy too. So uh, hit pause on the video on the chalkboard. See that chalkboard comes in, write all those ingredients down. Super easy steps here today, my friends. First thing you gotta do is grab some ginger biscuits and plonk them into one of those like sealable bag things and then bash it with your rolling pin. Nice and whacking and breaking it down into fine crumbs. Anyhow, next, grab yourself a mixing bowl and plonk in a little tub of cream cheese. Oh yeah. Spoon on a little helping of natural yogurt or you could actually use Greek yogurt if you like. Look, I'm Greek, I've got like, like smashing plates, it's plastic, but you, you get the idea. Pour in a drop of vanilla essence and add your sugar to the bowl too. Then just give it a good old mix with a wooden spoon. Now this is a fish slice, so you wanna use a fish slice if you get it, but just mix it all around so it's all nice and incorporated and smooth, baby. Oh yeah! Add your bashed up biscuit crumbs to the bottom of your glass, around about a quarter of the way up. Those biscuits are lonely in there and kind of like a parent with a nervous child at school, you wanna sort of encourage the cream cheese to nestle on top of that biscuit base. Oh my goodness. So this is my artist's impression of what it should look like. You've got your glass with the biscuit base and the cream cheese. Yeah. The biscuit and cream cheese mixture now needs to chill out for an absolute minimum of half an hour, ideally two hours onwards. So whack it in your fridge, and while it's chilling out, you can chill out too by imagining that you're in your very own shampoo advert. Ah, <sighs> and if there's anyone from L'Oreal watching, I'm available for adverts right now. Our raspberry sauce couldn't be simpler, so over a medium flame on your hob, whack down a saucepan and pour in your washed raspberries. Ooh, ooh, baby. Pour in a little bit of water to help it simmer and a little helping of ice and sugar. Now the heat in there should really break down those raspberries and you can help squish it a little bit with the back of your spoon, but after a while it will start to break down really emotionally like that on its own. So it's all good. As soon as you notice it simmering, turn the heat right down and let it cool because trust me, if you're cooking in flip flops like I do sometimes, you do not want to spill that on your feet. Ooh. When you're feeling up to it, grab yourself a sieve and a jug and start to pour that raspberry mixture through the sieve into the jug. Now what you'll notice there is the sieve is catching all those nasty seed things. You don't want them, you don't want them going in your teeth. You just want that nice raspberry juice. It's kind of like when you're raking your grass after you've mowed the lawn, you know, and you like the rake is getting rid of all the dead grass. That is what the sieve is doing to the seeds. Whew. Right, once everything's cooled down, get it cooled down. Nah, that was rubbish, wasn't it? Uh, take your cream cheese biscuit mixture from the fridge. Now I use a tin of sliced peaches just because I prefer them being a bit more sort of squishier. You know, you can go buy a peach from the shop and bite into it and you're like, Arsh! and it's rubbish. Uh, so I just sort of layered a nice little design, like a fan shape I tried to do until I got to the last one. Yeah, that kind of failed. Finish off the dessert by pouring your raspberry sauce on top of the peaches. Now imagine you're one of those peaches right now. That is gonna feel super good. The final step is optional, and even more optional if you have a nut allergy, my friends. Grab yourself a handful of chopped roasted hazelnuts and just sprinkle it on the top. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But that, my friends, is how you make those delicious peach melba cheesecakes. See you again next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching my daddy's birth night. Thank you for watching my daddy's video and now we're going to see a song. Cameras, cameras all around. Cameras are always good. Cameras, cameras all around. Cameras are always nice. Is that it? <laughs>